Zambia has in the last 24 hours recorded 16 cholera deaths from hotspot areas. Health Minister Sylvia Masebo disclosed this during the daily cholera update. Ms. Masebo says 426 new cases have also been recorded. As you have, you have noted from the numbers of people that have died, over 90% of these have died in the community. And that's why we are now, today, getting into the community, working with the community to sensitize them, to inform them, to work with them to clean up their surroundings, to ensure that we have no unsanitary conditions that actually cause cholera. Later, Ms. Masebo, in the company of local government minister Garin Kombo, Education Permanent Secretary Joe Kamoko and Lusaka Mayor Chilando Chitangala conducted inspections in Lusaka's material constituency. We are going to check the toilet and see that the toilets are in order. We are also going to look at the surrounding of these schools and we are also going to check the classrooms. Meanwhile, Education Permanent Secretary Joe Kamoko has disclosed that only 91% of schools have the met the cholera prevention guidelines. Noticed, under our own standards division, we did cover 91% of the enlisted schools that are registered, be they public, private or grant aided. And so no wonder the decision was made that 9% was not covered, but we're not happy with the degree of coverage. And local government minister Garin Kombo has issued a directive to all local authorities in the country. We are now going to go on an inspection tour that if your market is found to be operating beyond or beneath the acceptable sanitary conditions, we will have to close it, even if it means for one or two or three days in order for us. Maybe the message will sink faster. And Lusaka City Council says it will enforce the directives. Sensitization, and people are seeing that central government has also come down to the level where we are working together as a local authority and central government. So this way, we achieve a lot. Fortune Melata, ZNBC News, Lusaka.